Hey, my name is Tor. I'm one of the developers behind Odin Inspector and Serializer, and I'll quickly run you through just a few ways Odin helps you save time and overall just makes your life a lot easier while working in Unity, right from the additional editor attributes to the extensive Serializer. Here we have an example where we've taken the first person controller from Unity standard assets and applied a few Odin attributes to it to show how easy it is to improve the inspector using Odin. We've used a combination of the show if attribute, tab groups, toggle groups, horizontal groups, and inline editors. You can see how big a difference even a small number of attributes can make, and Odin has over 80 of them. Let's take a look at a two-dimensional array. As you can see in the code over here, this practically couldn't be simpler. We're inheriting from serialized mono behavior, and we've declared a two-dimensional array. This is then displayed in the inspector exactly as you'd expect. Next, let's see how Odin handles polymorphism. We have here a list of an interface and several implementations of that interface. Now, the list can contain any of the interface implementations, as we can see here. When adding an element, we're prompted to choose which implementation we would like to add to the list. Hmm, this desperately needs a table list attribute. Ah, that's much better. Dictionaries, of course, are also supported. Once again, you can see how simple the code for this is. We're declaring a dictionary, and here it is in the inspector. We can add keys, edit keys, remove keys, and so forth. Of course, all of this is also supported while working with prefabs and making modifications to prefab instances. Odin also offers a validation system, which comes with attributes such as required and validate input that enables the developers to ensure that their components are used correctly by the rest of the team and provide sensible feedback when they're not. When using these attributes, entire scenes can be scanned for errors and warnings to ensure that they are set up correctly. Of course, not everybody needs the extra power that Odin's serialization system provides. For those people, Odin includes an editor-only mode, which completely removes Odin from your builds. That's all for now. Be sure to head over to our website and the asset store to learn more about Odin, but most importantly, just keep making awesome games.